The special on the Phantom Thieves incident was cancelled. I heard a Ketsikon would be on it too. I heard it was just to avoid confusion about the election. They should ignore the pranks like that. They said all those awful things to make Shidra Sun look bad, but it makes me want to support him more. You have the more skilled you are, the more enemies you have. I want to see him resolve those rumors for good. Damn it. I can't believe they're saying crap like that. It's like they're brainwashed or something. Again, it was just a random video that appeared. We admit it as a culling card, but no one else really thought much of it. And it's like, ah, that's just nothing. When I think about how he used us, man, it pisses me right the heck off. It'll, it'll be fine. Soon he'll spin it, spill his guts and everyone will know that we were right. Just wait and see. Just gotta grit my teeth until then. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. It'll be fine. Well then. The only thing left for me to do is wait for the outcome. Well. Hey, I found a coffee shop that specializes in rare coffee. Would you like to go there together? I know it's this is a difficult time for you, but I thought that you may need a change of pace. You know what? Yeah, let's hang out. Then it's decided. The shop is in a hotel near Shibuya. Let's meet up over there and head over there together. Um. Do you remember how I mentioned before my newfound interest in coffee? Well, I've decided to start studying the topic more seriously by going out to places like this. I've been keeping it a secret from my fiancé, though. You see, just a single cup of dark ivory coffee here costs roughly 6,000 yen. That's a bit pricey. Yes. Indeed, it certainly takes some courage to order it, but I expect it'll be worth the high price. After all, my father always told me to never skimp when it comes to learning experiences. Shall we order? But I'll be paying for your cup as well. Let me cover the bill. <laughs> <laughs> You're such a gentleman, Rangoon. But allow me to handle this. I invited you after all. On top of that, aren't you supposed to always listen to your elders? I guess. Hmm. I wonder how it will taste. Here we go. There's a faint bitterness beneath the strange mellow flavor. This coffee is clearly distinct from Sojiro's... Oh, it's Sojiro serves at LeBlanc. This is... It has a distinctly fragrant aroma paired with a mild flavor. This is undoubtedly delicious, yet... Would you... I would barely consider it coffee. Um... Apparently, it's brewed using beans gathered from elephant dung. <laughs> um... Uh, you could, uh, excuse me while I vomit. I'm sorry. <laughs> I apologize for not disclosing this to you earlier. I just thought you might find it hard to enjoy me if you had known ahead of the time. <laughs> That's one way of putting it, Haru. <laughs> I was surprised to hear it at first myself, but I was actually, but that was actually why I wanted to try it to begin with. Another rare type of coffee, Kopi Luka? Uh, Luwak? I don't know. I, I guess it's Luwak. It's gathered from the feces of a small cat called a civet. Interestingly enough, the flavor differs depend on what animal it was originally consumed by. Speaking of cats, do you think Monotone would be able to? I forgot about this. <laughs> sure, let's ask him. <laughs> uh, perhaps it could be LeBlanc's new special teacher. <laughs> I don't think Mona would be. I don't think Morgana would be happy with this. Oh, but we need Mona-chan for the operation, huh? We can't afford to make him eat beets all day. <laughs> Yeah, that would be that would be very unfortunate for everyone involved. <laughs> hmm. 
Mm. Coffee is so profound. Aruchan. Huh? Takakura san? What a strange place for us to meet. It's not, not often I see people your age at this luxurious buffet. And who might. Th and who is this? Oh, he's a friend from school. Rinkun, this is Takakura san. He's the new president of Akumara Foods. By the way, it looks like we will be able to avoid litigation. We somehow settled on decent terms. You don't need to worry. Oh, and about your shares, you should consider letting the company hold on to them for the time being. I'm sure you have enough on your plate already, given everything that's happened to you. No. Uh, well, I... Uh, I'm sorry to bring that up while you two are enjoying yourselves here. That aside, how are things going with Suguri Maraku? You know, these days you need to reserve a wedding hall almost a year in advance if you want a good one. Sometimes it worries me how laid back you are, Haruchan. Uh, right. We're in the process. Well, I should be heading back to the office now. Oh, but please allow me to pay for your drinks. Uh, no, that's quite all right. And I'm um, about to the shares. I can handle them for now. I'm going to protect which uh, that which my father left for me. I understand. Please do try to re reconsider, though. Well, then, if you excuse me. <sighs> that was a lie. There's no way I can handle the responsibilities I have to deal with right now. I mean, I'm just a high schooler. But I can't leave the company in Takakura-san's hands. Hey, um, what do you think of him? I mean, honestly, it, uh, it was a short, brief time. I can't really be sure. <laughs> You're so honest, Rinku. But I agree. I really don't know whether or not I can trust him. Right now, the most prevalent rumor about Takakura-san is he was pleased with my father's passing. I mean, he certainly—he was certainly the most, uh, the person who benefit, who would benefit the most from it. It's hard to deny that fact. But he says he's trying to rebuild the company's image. I can't tell if he really means it. You know, sometimes I wonder what life would be like if I didn't have money. If I was normal. Don't get me wrong. The company is definitely important. But it's often nothing more than a source of stress. Um. With you guys, though, I feel like I actually belong. That's why I'm going to work extra hard to make sure the har my harvest turns out great. All right. Yeah. All right, there we go. Sorry, <laughs> I had to cough. My throat was just, ugh. I might have to take a break somewhere and all this to do something about it. If negotiation amidst a group of shadows fails, you can try again. All right. Um. Oh, and as for that Sigurmara's son, that's my fiancé. He's been really showering me with presents lately. One night he might even... He even left a bouquet of roses on my pillow. Oh, what? Oh, gosh. But he would have needed one of my servants to help him accomplish that. Right? What a scary thought. Even worse, Takakura-san has been hurrying us to get married after what happened to my father. He claims it's because of the profit of the marriage will help bring the well the profit of the marriage will bring to the company. But there has to be more than that to this it 
has to be more to the situation than just that. Jeez. Yes. Anyway, I'll look a little deeper into Takakuro-san. Perhaps he truly was pleased with my father's death. Maybe I should start by asking the employees who are trying to be so desperate, who are trying so desperately to win my favor. That is a good starting point. Hmm. You haven't drank any more of your coffee, Ren. Aren't you going to finish it? Um. Goodbye. Uh, well, uh, <laughs> about that. <laughs> I don't think I want to have coffee that was derived from that. Oh, Renku. Sorry about the awkwardness today. You took out you took time out of your schedule to hang out with me, but we ended up dealing with my own drama. Let's get let's just get coffee again. <laughs> I'll let you know if I find another nice spot. It won't always be that luxurious though. That's fine. Lately, I felt so suffocated. I don't know who to trust anymore. But it's reassuring to have someone like you, someone who listens to me. I'm going to do whatever I can to look further into Takakura-san. I might come to you for help again if I find something. Well, see you later. All right. Ah, you're back. Weird nonsense and drama aside. Kayo. I'm having trouble with Kayo's case, and I'm not sure how to handle this. Can we call? All right. I'll be there. Damn it. It's no use. All my connections who knew where Kayo was gone, thanks to the chief, eh, are, are gone. Okay. Thanks to the chief and my publisher. Well, say something. I mean, oh, what do you want me to say? Uh, oh, that's probably that. I mean, you seem tired. <laughs> you can tell. Well, I guess it's pretty obvious. Uh, pulling these consecutive all-nighters is really wearing me down. At this rate, you're going to work yourself to death. You've been meeting your quota, right? Shit. Of course. They'll fire me if I show any sign of weakness. The chief really wants me to mess up, but I'm not going to give him the satisfaction. Huh. He's some... He's like some kind of tyrant. Tell me about it. It's a race to see whether I can find Kayo before he crushes me. That's not good. Shouldn't you do something about the chief before you keep chasing Kayo chan's case? There's nothing I can do about a guy like that. He's rotten to the core. And despite how he acts, the higher ups like him. If I have no one to go to, it's over. Yeah. He didn't seem like the kind of guy to change his mind. But at this rate, you wouldn't be able to continue in your investigation. What do you think, kid? Oya is going to be crushed under the weight of her quota if the situation doesn't change. I need to do something about the chief to help her. Uh, I'm going to die. What's his name? Why? Are you going to try to find his weakness? His name is Shinpei Honjo. I heard he's a good husband, and he used to cover the economic foreign policy. Ugh. I hope he, it's just me overthinking things, but he's seen your face, you know. Don't try to, don't try anything heroic. Saying, she's saying this for your own good. Got it, kid? I wonder where Kayo is. Sorry, I, but I just don't feel like getting any info from you today. Sorry. Thanks for coming all the way out here, though. I'll see you around. All right, we need to free her from her boss. 